is a staple on St. Patrick's Day, but if you've stepped into a pub like this one, you may have noticed that you'll have to pay more for your favorite pint. And there's a reason for that. It's that one special day when worlds collide. St. Patty's Day meets March Madness. We came to watch the games and to have a couple beers. As you can imagine, the beers are flowing, despite the fact that the price of a pint is rising. We know barley prices are going to be going up. Worldwide demand, uh, we're not the only country that's experiencing drought. Barley prices have shot up more than 11% in just two weeks. Wheat prices are also soaring. Travis Peterson of Metal Lark Brewing says there's a lot of reasons why, from drought to supply shortages. You would think it would be weird to affect a brewery in Montana, but fuel prices have jumped really high, and that's only going to trickle down to everything. Michael Urich, owner of Carter's Brewing, had to raise his beer prices. We did raise our prices first of the year, um, expecting the hikes to come. Uh, we know they're coming. Probably middle of the year we'll see the biggest effect um, on barley shortages and barley quality. And he says the shortage isn't limited to just barley. Some of the bigger breweries are struggling with aluminum in cans. Um, prices, hikes, shortages, minimum ordering requirements. We're having a hard time sourcing parts or, uh, you know, like pump parts and, and just standard uh, tri-clamp fittings for all the piping that we do out here. Both men are worried the barley shortage will affect the quality of beer brewers can produce. While their supplies are Montana grown, it's the war in Ukraine that's also to blame for rising prices. 30% of the world's supply of grain comes from Russia and Ukraine. But on days like this, most aren't letting any of that get in the way of some good old fashioned St. Patty's Day fun. We don't pay too much attention to the beer costs. It's been received well and, and we're, we're handling it pretty well. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.